Days after the grand jury opted to not charge the police officer accused of causing Garner's death during a chokehold, protests still continue, and today a rally taking place. News 10 ABC's Amy Cutler live in Albany at the federal courthouse with the latest on the continuing protests. Amy. Well, Elisa, in the last few minutes, that group of protesters that had gathered here in front of the federal building in Albany actually went up to the U.S. Attorney's Office. They have a list of demands, and they wanted to deliver them directly to that office. Now, so far, it's a much smaller group than what we saw yesterday, or yesterday when more than 200 people filled the streets. They first blocked the intersection of Henry Johnson and Livingston, then marched down Henry Johnson to Central, all in an effort by protesters to express their anger and frustration over grand jury's decision not to file charges against a New York City police officer. That cop is accused of choking to death an unarmed black man. Last week, a grand jury in Ferguson, Missouri, decided not to indict a police officer who shot and killed an unarmed black teen. Protesters here say it's part of a larger problem and that something needs to change. We're looking for a deeper criticism of the police union for protecting bad cops. Um, politicians really need to step up and say something that this is unacceptable. Um, the teachers union constantly gets criticized for protecting bad teachers, but no one ever criticizes the police department for protecting bad cops. No. Now, yesterday we saw protesters fill the streets, blocking traffic. Uh, it appears so far that protesters say they don't intend to march, but we're going to keep, uh, we're going to continue to follow this closely and have much more coming up live at five o'clock. For now, we're live in Albany. I'm Amy Cutler for News 10 ABC.